It's one thing if somebody like me knocks CM Punk for his fantasy fighting crap with UFC. It's one thing if I talk shit about it. It's one thing if I trash him. Because ultimately, at the end of the day, let's face it. Look at me. I'm just some honky recording videos on stupid YouTube in a man room with a bunch of posters in the background from glory days of wrestling gone by. But at least I could say that when I'm talking about CM Punk and the farce that is his fantasy fighting in UFC, at least I keep it to the fighting, the person. I can also point out the good things that he did as a professional wrestler and so forth. But not getting personal because it's not relevant to the subject at hand. It is just what you see. Like, you can't sit there and tell me you watched his fight Saturday night and felt like that was a dude in any way, shape, or form that should be a professional fighter at any major MMA organization. Like, the dude had four and a half years to prepare, and he still absolutely sucks. And ding-dong, dumb dicks, what's progress for him the next time? Maybe he gives it half a college try and maybe is able to sneak out a run from, around from somebody and still get his shit pushed in. The dude's bad. Not good. It's not for him. That is okay. He tried, failed massively, still got a lot of money to do so. That's okay. But now, realize it's not going to happen. Move the hell on. Go back to where you belong and make some real damn money for the next few years while you still can. So you can criticize by still being relevant and on point and on the topic. Whether you agree with me or not, that's your business. But then we got this fuck stick Corey Graves. Like, who the hell is Corey Graves? And in the grand scheme of things, Corey Graves, as I've talked about before, is a putz. Corey Graves is an idiot. Corey Graves is an annoying little twit, an annoying little tit in the world of WWE. What business justification, rationale, or credibility does he have to be a main roster television commentator? Knock, knock. Who's there? Nothing. Nothing who? Corey Graves has nothing, no business being a main roster television commentator. Atto! Are we serious here? Why in the hell would you take this dude seriously as a color commentator on a Raw or a SmackDown? He didn't do shit in that company. Or the NXT. Who gives a fuck about NXT? Especially when he was there. What the hell did he ever really do there? He did absolutely nothing on the main roster. But he's talking about crap like he knows. If I don't know, then he doesn't know either. It's one thing if a Jerry the King Waller talks about stuff like that. It's one thing if somebody else who actually was a star or actually did wrestle on the main roster at some point says something on commentary because then you have the belief and buy-in and credibility for the dude actually maybe having some type of idea what the hell he's talking about. But then you got Corey Graves. This fuck twat. Like, why the hell does anybody take him seriously? The dude is a D-bag. And you saw that last night on Twitter after CM Punk lost. Here's Corey Graves not just talking about the fight, throwing a bunch of personal crap out there, trying to sit there and get him some shine off of CM Punk's failure. And not like somebody like me and so many of the other people that are going to talk about how he's done and he shouldn't be fighting anymore. Again, at least that is relevant to the topic at hand. At least that is in bounds. At least that is fair play. This dude's talking about how he trusted the dude. And dude held his son before he did. And how he turned his back on the locker room and all this other crap. He went to an entirely different level that is the epitome, the sheer definition of kicking somebody while the hell they're down. That's not fair. That's foul, man. That's real foul. And totally in line with Corey Graves' character. Fuck that pussy. And then he sits there and talks about, Oh, hell yeah, I'll fight him. Oh, no, no, no. 
Let's rewind for just a second. Yeah, I'll fight him. It's one thing that you're just the cheapest of cheap knockoff fuckboy wannabe CM Punks. You know, where CM Punk was actually good in the ring. Where CM Punk actually had a personality. CM Punk could actually be an entertaining character. CM Punk actually had a look that some people liked, that some people didn't. But at least you could kind of buy into it. At least the dude could really talk on the microphone. None of these things that Corey Graves can do. With this fuck stick haircut, his fucked up looking face, his weird ass looking neck, all of his bitch ass tattoos. Look at me, I gotta be hard because you got tattoos on my neck. You look like a jackass. With none of the in-ring character, personality, or microphone skills of CM Punk. And oh, oh you're gonna fight him. So you couldn't even measure up to him as a professional wrestler who I fought before. Fucking you got jelly for braids. That's why you never made it to the main roster. Not only because you absolutely suck, but because you got your bell rung one too many times, you had concussion problems, and the doctors wouldn't clear you anymore. So you think a good idea here is to challenge a dude to a fight when you got scrambled eggs for brains. Like you're freaking walking CTE. And you want to challenge a dude to a real fight. Like I promise you this much. CM Punk sucks as a fighter. Fact. CM Punk has no business ever, ever fighting in UFC again. 100% fact. Corey Graves, fuck boy. Fact. Corey Graves can go away. Fact. But I guarantee, T, guarantee, T. That CM Punk, even as crappy of even as a fantasy fighter that he is, can knock Corey Graves in the head one time, and Corey Graves is going to have an even more idiotic, stupid-looking fucking look on his face. It's like he's halfway to Perry Saturn, with the one eye going this way, the one eye going that way. Maybe CM Punk can sit there and smack him across the face, and it'll knock his eyes straight, or it'll knock him bug eye the other way. Like, how do you not look at Corey Graves? And sit there and say, that is a face I eminently want to punch. And after last night, how could you not think to yourself, Corey Graves is an individual that I want to kick in the dick. Like, it's one thing the, to speak the truth about CM Punk fighting. He sucks. He had all this time to prepare, and he still sucks. It's over, it's done, move the hell on with your life, stop wasting everybody's time, stop taking up a spot. It's another thing to bring all this personal crap into it that absolutely wasn't needed when CM Punk, between trying to prepare for this fight and the trial against Dr. Amon, had all these other things going on in his plate, and you want to sit there and make shit personal because you're a dipshit. Same dude that him and Booker T got into it, but then they're kind of working, but then the office tells them to cut the crap out. So they sit there and have a good chuckle about how they worked at everybody. They worked everybody and made absolutely no money off of it. Who's the fucking mark here? You can't wrestle anymore because you had head and neck issues, and now you want to challenge a dude to a real fight? This is an example of a dude... That doesn't freaking get it. This is an example of a dude that thinks he's way more inherently va valuable than he actually is. Like if Corey Graves was fired today, WWE would be just fine. Even with the flaws in their product and their presentation. They wouldn't miss a damn thing. And most certainly I know and believe I wouldn't miss a damn thing, and I think more and more a lot of you are catching up to this fact. But what he did was out of bounds, what he did was cowardly, what he did was chicken shit. It's typical Corey Gray's fuckboy. You gotta challenge a dude to a fight. Why? Is that way you can get another fucking concussion? Have your brain scrambled even more? Trying to knock your eyes straight? Give it a fucking rest. Corey Graves is a D-bag, and I hope everybody's starting to see it now.